Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercar video, episode 88. With me, cool guy, you the awesome viewers. So what I'm currently doing is I'm actually playing world mode, which is not something I do often, but I am currently trying to level up my Jack Gallagher. So he's so close to being done, I will show you guys how many more games I have to do. I'm going to do that with you guys on the video, and then we'll end it there. I'll probably maybe bring you guys back in like a second part of the video to play one or two games of Team Ring Domination. If I don't, you guys will get to see some Team Ring Domination gameplay and how my brand new team in their first event are doing in tomorrow's video. You guys, you guys will get to see that. Maybe a little sneak peek of that in today's video. But um, we've got power and speed to do with the Jack Gallagher. We're in the middle of doing that now, so let's see how we do. So we've got power game there. And while we're doing this, we're going to talk about fucking Fastlane. The shittest pay-per-view I've watched in a long time. Now, why do I have such bad... Why am, like, why am I... Yeah, why am I saying it's the shittest pay-per-view I've... Like, why am I upset about it? Is it mostly because of the ending? Yes. But overall, I think there's a lot of really shit things that happen in the pay-per-view. One of them is this. Okay, right there. One of, the, one of them is that. Him cocking his stupid fist. Um, no, <laughs> there's quite a lot of things that I've got against the show, and we're going to talk about it, and I would love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments down below, uh, once you guys see this video. So yeah, let me know what you guys have to say, but I started off with the kickoff show. Um, he or Cruiserweights was Face, Cruiserweights, um, and, uh, what's his name? I love how I don't remember his name. You can't handle this, whatever, it's, I, I, I love having blanks like that, but, uh, uh, Tony Nese or Drew Gula, or whoever it was with, oh, I, don't, I don't even know, <laughs> this is awkward, this is awkward as hell, but uh, D. Brian Kendrick was, was one, on one of the teams, um, Rich One, there we go, found it, he was, one on, he was on one of the teams, the one who keeps screaming, ah, ah, whatever, he was on the face team, but anyway, the heel team won, didn't really care about the match, not at all, let's move on, um, so, yeah, the Raw Tag Team Champions were defended, of course, uh, New Day, New Day, uh, the club versus Enzo and Cass. The club got the win, um, a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a D, well, it wasn't really a DQ win, but it was obviously not a clean finish. Um, his leg was on the rope, you know, pushes his leg off the rope and then they get the win. So, overall, I'm glad the club got the win. I didn't think it was time for Enzo and Cass to win. I think the club just won it and they have been really mistreated on Raw since ever they made their debut really and uh, it's good that they remain tag team champions they need to be built stronger um, and I hope I hope they can be built stronger in the future Samoa Joe versus Sami Zayn was actually the first match um, on the show after, you know, except from the kickoff matches but it was the opener of Fastlane really good match honestly it was a really good match um i i thoroughly enjoyed it i love seeing Samoa Joe and Samoa Joe and Sami Zayn i mean we all knew it was going to be a good match um and it was and it was it was good it was really good i would have loved it to see i would have loved it to go a little bit longer it was a good match happy with it probably match the night for me um with another match that i'll mention in a bit um jack gallagher versus neville for the cruiserweight championship second best match for me as as with with the with the Joe and Sammy match, I actually, I really love the match. Um, overall, would I've, I'd love I'd love Jack, uh, Jack Gallagher to win, but I think Neville's the right choice. I'm happy Neville did retain. It's, it's good, you know. It, it needed to happen. So overall, I'm thrilled, and it was a great match. Um, oh, anyway, I'm done with Jack Gallagher. By the way, he's now done. That did just complete him the last games we played. So we're gonna go ahead and pro him right now. Let's just go ahead and do that. But. Yeah, um, Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. Roman Reigns, like, he won. It is what it is. I'm not happy with it. Wrong ending, in my opinion. I think Braun Strowman definitely should have gone over and won that match. But he didn't. So, I can't be too salty about it. Well, I can be salty about it, but there's nothing I can do about it. Apart from, say, Braun Strowman is one of the best big men, like, big guys we've seen in WWE for a while. He is agile. He is athletic. He is just absolutely amazing and I yeah one of my dream matches like right now is slowly starting to be AJ Styles versus Braun Strowman I think that'd be a fantastic match because Braun Strowman is he's good he really is good um, anyway but yeah that finish got me angry and then uh, I'm probably missing a couple matches but Bailey and Charlotte just didn't do it for me uh, the ending just didn't do it for me at all the match itself was good the ending didn't do it for me um, to have Charlotte's streak like that 
just just kind of be for nothing because it wasn't a good payoff at the end. Sasha Banks game, it was just stupid for me. And then we had that really weird, um, no storyline, no nothing, just going into it filler. It felt like the second hour of Raw. It was awful for a pay per view. Jinder Mahal. Uh, Rusev, Big Show, Cesaro, all of that. I love seeing Cesaro. It was nice seeing Big Show, nice seeing Rusev. But overall, it was just shit because there was no story to it. There was nothing about it. It was just like that. And it was just not good, nor entertaining. And overall, that part was shit. Um, and then the main event. Now, let's go and throw this Jack Gallagher and then we'll get on to what I have to say about the main event. So, level 40... F no, no, let me just make sure he's done. 40, 40, 40, 40. All tokens used. Level okay, but... How did, how did I use his tokens? I went everything except power. I haven't, I haven't used all his tokens here, so... Either we go power or speed. I think I'm going to go speed on that one. Uh, and 40, 40, 40 all tokens used. Let's go and confirm those tokens. And then we're going to go ahead and combine him. So, Jack Gallagher is done! Beautiful! Let's go lock him really quickly, and then let's get on to talk about the main event of Fastlane. So Goldberg has now wrestled two main events, and he has now been in the Royal Rumble. So Royal Rumble aside, he has wrestled main event of Survivor Series and main event of Fastlane. In those two main events, he has done what exactly? What has he done? I can't put my finger on it yet. Yeah, he's done five moves and wrestled an, an, an all-time of two minutes. So, like... He's just ah, uh, it just it's it's it gets annoying, you know, when you see someone like Kevin Owens, how good he is, how much of a good heel he is, and he deserves to be champion. To see a part timer, fifty year old, hold the goddamn belt is it's it's a shame. It's really a shame, and they've ruined it. But that's what I have to say about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Until I see you guys next time, take care and peace out.